wanted to help those who had also suffered burn and trauma. He kind of to my lap. I've never had a connection like that. Now they need to curb their dog's aggression. <laughs> But now, I'm heading out on my own to the home of our problem case, Fergus. A golden retriever with an incredible story. He's a burn survivor whose owner's hope can become a therapy dog. But Fergus will need to overcome a major behavior problem. I'm Angel. I'm Victor, and our dog is Fergus. He is a golden retriever that is about two and a half years old. Fergus was found roaming the streets. When he was found, he was completely burned from the back portion of his head all the way down, practically to his tail. He was burned with some type of uh, chemical, like battery acid, and he had a large open streak down his back that was oozing. He was barely hanging on. He was very weak, very tired, um, and really near death. And so he was nursed back to health, and uh, that's where we first met him. I just felt a connection to him. He just melted my heart. And I was really overwhelmed by how friendly he was, how he came right up to us to greet us, to see us. No distrust whatsoever. It was just the opposite of what you would think would happen with a dog that's gone through what he's gone through. When we applied to adopt Fergus, we wanted Fergus to become a therapy dog to help those who had also suffered burn and trauma. We just feel that that's a calling for us and for Fergus. But he's got one little issue. He's aggressive on leash. <laughs> when we're out on a walk with Fergus and he sees another dog, he lunges and he ferociously barks at them. Many times I feel like he's gonna pull my arm out of the socket. He could break free and try to attack another dog, which is dangerous, obviously, for him. He could get hit by a, a car uh, crossing the street. The other dog could attack him. It's a very dangerous situation. Fergus, come on. Our main goal for Fergus right now is to, st to stop being leash aggressive. Frankly, I'm worried because I don't think Fergus will pass his certification test to be a therapy dog. Fergus will never become the therapy dog his owners want him to be unless we solve his leash aggression. So I need to see him and his owners in action around other dogs. Show me your normal, what you do, how you do it. I bring, him, I bring him to the door. Okay. And then put him on his leash. Okay. Okay, come on. Here we go. Okay, so here, here I want you to see something with okay. me. See how he's already pulling? Yes. And as you see, he's already excited. He's on alert. Yeah. Of course he is. So we... Okay. Come on, Fergus. Come on, Fergus. Come here. Come on, come on. So now let's, let's come over. I'm going to do it again. I need to show Angel and Victor how to bring Fergus out of the house properly starting with showing them how a leash can help change his behavior. He needs to follow rather than lead. Change. Take that off. Take that off. So from here, we make the step and we keep him in a follower state. So now he's not in front. Look, that's amazing. So now that he's in a follower state, he's gonna give you a different behavior. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Coming back. Come here. Around, giving distance. So we're, we're saying, we can walk around you, but we're going to give you distance. Therefore, we are respecting your space. Now they're looking at each other. So then you snap them out of them. When I saw Caesar control Fergus the way he did, as quickly as he did, it was like witnessing a miracle because it happened so fast. When your leash is in the bottom, you put him in a pulling state. Therefore, he's going to go in front. See, if a dog is pulling, you, you can only pull back. That's true. So this is amazing. brakes or slow down. Okay. This is speed. That's how we have to look at it. This is brakes. Yeah, this right. is the brakes. That's why in a dog show, they put it here. Yeah. Okay. I've shown Angel and Victor that by placing Fergus' leash higher on the neck, they'll have a much easier time keeping him calm around other dogs. 
Now I want to take the next step and see if he can become with an entire pack of dogs with the neighborhood dog walker. I'm going to join in, so watch. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey. All right, we're going to go for a, for a pack walk. All right. Hey. Yeah. So it's the, the conversation is, is normal, they're barking, but we're, we're, we're controlling it. Now we're going to join the pack walk. I'm working with Fergus, a dog with an amazing story. After surviving from horrific burns, Fergus is now a candidate to become a therapy dog for other burn survivors. But Fergus won't get the certification he needs unless his owners get his leash aggression under control. So I'm joining some neighborhood dog walkers to find out where all that aggression is coming from. Hey. And remember, the growling is normal. Yeah. Because they don't know each other. Right, okay. so, so they're talking. And plus they're in a pack. Yeah. Okay, so it's gonna be a completely different reaction when they're in a pack than when, when they're by themselves. We're gonna turn around as a U-turn. Is that okay? Yeah. Just slow the pace, because you're a dog walker pace. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> slow, slow down. All right, your turn. Short, not tense. Okay. Okay. Short, not tense. Okay. No, no, no. What? Don't start going. Okay. No. Just oh, okay. calm, assertive. Okay. No, don't say it. Oh. Because, okay. See, that creates excitement. <laughs> you're you right. It? You're right. Oh, well, you can go on the sidewalk. Okay. Can I tell him breathe, good breathe. boy? Breathe, breathe, no, no, just breathe. You're not passing yet. Don't say good boy when they're next to the dog, because then they're going to get excited. Right. Once he passes. Right, right. Pay in the accomplishment. Don't pay halfway. Stop right here. Make a left. Now she's going to walk around you. Hold on, you guys just stay right there. Don't look at the dog, feel it. It's like music, you gotta feel it. Oh, right, so don't look at him. If you think it, you're not singing. There you go. Turn around, your turn. Fergus, with the leash held in the proper way, he did absolutely fabulous. And I just felt his body relax because I relaxed. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something that he's ready, but not you. Okay. Look. This is intimate space. Oh my God. Keep it right there. This is good, this is good. There you go. So I'm saying we're gonna oh. go in the middle of the hurricane and you're going to surrender and trust me. Right, that's fantastic. Can we do another pack walk? Yep. So now, now Mr. Victor is right there with you guys. Do you guys begin? Wait, wait, there you go. Oh my God, it's like he's not even paying attention. It was a big deal to walk Fergus in that new way with that new confidence and feeling relaxed on my side and to see how he responded to dogs around him. It, it was a new experience that I was having a great time with and I could tell he was really enjoying it at the same time. Right there, see, keep him focused, that's it. This was a great first step for Angel and Victor, but it's just the beginning. They still need a lot more practice if Fergus is ever going to become a certified therapy dog. What I want to continue with you is to bring you to the Dog Psychology okay. Center. Yep. We can do this not only with dogs, you know, with other species, mm -hmm. llamas and goats and different distractions. Ah. Yeah. No matter what species it is, what situation oh, it is, great. follow me. See you at the Thank Dog Psychology you, Center. See you. All right. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and join me on my mission of better humans, better planet.